Hi kids, welcome to Kids Church at Silver Birch Evangelical Church. My name is Becca and I'm Gwen's daughter, but you might not know me because I've been in Ohio for the past couple of years. In Ohio, I've been doing lots of different things, including Kids Church and helping kids with homeschool. Lots of children in America don't go to school, they get taught at home, and I've been helping different families to be able to do that. While I was in Ohio, I also did Kids Church every single week. And while I was there, we did things a little bit differently to how you do them here. I have a friend called Fun Fact Guy, and watch out for him because he might come into this video today too. He tells us lots of fun facts about the Bible and about things in life, like, did you know that if you look at the stars, some of the stars that you see at night are already dead and don't exist anymore? He tells us great things. But over the summer in Ohio, we did Psalms of the Summer, and one of my favorite Psalms was 119. The reason it was my favorite is that it tells us all about the character of God. I don't mean that God is a superhero or that he's like Batman or T'Challa, although Black Panther is my favorite. The character of God is all about who God is. And we can learn that from Psalm 119 and through his word and his laws. Hey kids, fun fact guy here. Just bouncing around, I have a fun fact for you. Did you know that Psalms is, has the longest and the shortest chapters in the Bible? Psalm 117 only has two verses. And Psalm 119, one we're doing now, has 176 verses in it. That's long, and it takes 15 minutes to read it. You should go read it with your parents tonight. Fun fact guy. Ow! Whoa, Psalm 119 really is long. We're not gonna look at all of it today because if we did, we'd probably be here until next Sunday looking at all the things we can learn from it. Instead, I'm gonna tell you two of my favorite things about this Psalm. The first we find in verse 11. It says, I have treasured your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. And then in verse 16, it says, I delight in your statutes and I will not forget your word. Statutes is just another word for law. But when I think of laws and rules, I don't think about treasuring them or delighting in them. You see, I delight in things like ice cream or going out with my friends or watching a good movie on a Saturday night. I don't delight in laws and rules and things like that, learning about them and how to keep them. But David says that we should delight in these things because these things show us God's character. We can see God's character through the laws that he gives us to obey ways to live our lives. If we think of the Ten Commandments, we think of number four. It says, keep the Sabbath day holy. We keep the Sabbath day holy because it's a day that we set aside to spend with God. God is holy, and we can see that through his law. He is holy and he is worthy of our worship. I can delight in that because it reminds me of who God is. One of the other Ten Commandments says, do not murder. We don't murder because God says that human life is special. We are made in his image because we are made by a God who is a caring creator. I can delight in the law because I see that God is a caring creator through it. And that reminds me of how much he cares for me. I can definitely delight and treasure in that. You see, through God's law, we learn more and more about God and his character. And as we learn more about him, we learn to delight and treasure the laws that he gives us. Hey kids, fun fact guy here with another fun fact. Did you know that Psalm 119 is a different type of poem? It's an acrostic poem. That's pretty cool, huh? And did you know that all 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet start each section? How cool. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. That's the fun fact. Hold on, we'll go back to my kid. Kind of cool that David would write this whole psalm based on a poem and use every single letter of the alphabet. It just shows how much he really did treasure and delight and see beauty in God's law. But I don't think I could write a poem about things that I like. I really like coffee, but I don't think I could write a poem using every single letter of the alphabet for a different verse. But David delighted in God's law so much and in who God was that it was easy for him to do. It was something he wanted to do because he treasured it so very much. 
You see, the law also tells us how to live our lives, how to live our lives in a way that will honor God and bring worship and praise to him. And through that, we show other people that God is worthy of our worship, that he is worthy of our honor. And so we can delight and treasure the laws of God, not only because of who God is, but because it helps to build his kingdom by us showing other people who God is and how much he is worthy of our worship. In verse 105, it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This verse reminds me that when I don't know what to do, when I'm struggling, when I'm not sure what would be the right thing to do, I can look to God because God is the one who is truth. He is grace, he is justice, he is love, and he is mercy. And I can look to him and the example that he gives us in Jesus and how to live my life in a way that will worship him and point others towards him, the author and creator of our faith. Hey kids, fun fact guy here just having a workout on the merry-go-round, did you know that when it says the law, it's also talking about Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy? They're also called the Pentateuch. And when you hear the stories of Noah, and Abraham, and Joseph, and Isaac, and all those other guys that I can't remember now, they talk about God's character in those stories. They're really cool. I'll see you later. Well, that's it for Psalm 119. We can see through Psalm 119 that we can delight in God's law and treasure it because it shows us God's character. We also can look to God's law for how to live our lives in a way that honors and glorifies him. Those are some of the things that I really enjoyed from Psalm 119. But this week, why not sit down with your parents and read the first eight verses in the morning and then eight more in the evening, which would be one letter of the Hebrew alphabet for the morning and one letter for the evening and see what else you can learn from this wonderful psalm. We also would love it if you could memorize Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. This can remind you to treasure God's word, to treasure his laws, and to look at them not as things that are a to-do list, but as things to delight in. If you keep watching till the end of this video, there will also be a short craft for you to do. You'll need paper, scissors, and a stapler or a glue stick. See you guys in a few weeks. All right guys, so for your craft, you're going to need one piece of paper, one strip of paper, some coloring pencils, some scissors, a peg if you don't have someone to help you, and either tape, a stapler, or glue. So the first thing that you can do is decorate your paper. Now, I kind of already did that earlier. I have some nice little flowers all over mine. Then all you're gonna do is take it and fold it in half with your picture on the outside, like this. Then take your scissors and cut slits, not all the way to the end, just to about five centimeters from where the edge is, like this. even but that's okay then open your page back up again take the two edges to create a cylinder or a circle I'm going to clip this end until I can tape it because I only have two hands on the other side hold the edges together take one of your pieces of tape or your sellotape or your glue and stick the two sides together on the other side, you're going to do exactly the same thing. And while I'm here, I'm also going to take my little handle, which goes on the top, and if I grab my tape, which is over here, I will attach the top of it to the lantern to make a light to remind me that the Lord is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. So I'm just gonna stick that onto the inside of my little light. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And there you have it, a little lamp for you to carry. And if you put it over a candle or over a light, it'll shine out. 